Welcome, dear Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Moreover, that we must did long to see you, the need we have to use you did provoke our hasty sending. Something have you heard of Hamlet's transformation? So call it, since nor the exterior nor the inward man resembles what it was, what it should be more than his father's death, that thus hath put him so much from the understanding of himself, I cannot dream of. I entreat you both, that being of so young days brought up with him, that you vouchsafe your rest here in our court some little time, so by your companies to draw him on to pleasures, and to gather so much as from occasion you may glean, whether aught to us unknown afflicts him thus, that open that lies within our remedy. Good gentlemen, he hath much talked of you, and sure I am to men there are not living to whom he more adheres. If it please you now to expend your time with us a while, your visitation shall receive such thanks as fits a king's remembrance. Both your majesties might, by the sovereign power you have of us, uh, put your dread pleasures more into command than to entreat. But, but we both obey, and here give up ourselves in the full bent to lay our service freely at your feet to be commanded. Thanks, Rosencrantz and gentle Guildenstern. Thanks, Guildenstern and gentle Rosencrantz. And I beseech you instantly to visit my too much changed son. Go, bring these gentlemen where Hamlet is. Heavens make our presence and our practices pleasant and helpful to him. I amen.